the bigger the better when it comes to breasts. That is not at all the case. Uh, uh, as you can see, if you're like an A, A minus, well, that's, that's just unacceptable. Uh, if it feels like I'm rounding second base with a 12-year-old Filipino boy, that's a turnoff. For me, for me, that's, I don't know about you guys, but, but I mean, once you get like Bs, Cs, you know, something to latch onto, that's good, that's good. But as, as you're gonna notice, it tapers off if it gets too big. You start compromising nipple quality, it just gets really big and gelatinous, I don't know what to do with it all, it doesn't fit in my hands. So it tapers off the bigger it gets. So you just kind of want to stay in this range up here, that's the best range. <laughs> Uh, there's, there's a slightly different curve for men uh, uh, in terms of breast size. As you're going to notice, the bigger a man's breast get, it actually gets worse. It's, uh, it's a reverse process, but there's a point where if you're a guy and you've got like D cups, that's, uh, that's just hilarious to me. That's not bad at all. Uh, there, there's a very similar process, this isn't sexist, because there's a very similar process when it comes to uh, the male genitalia. I mean, if you're, uh, if you're in the two to four inch range, what we call Asian range, uh, that's not gonna cut the mustard, right? That's unacceptable, you know, but you get up six, eight, ten, okay, now there's something to work with. It tapers off a little bit, right around a foot, you know? And, and like, uh, like, here's the way I think about it, like, if you're hungry, you can only eat so much. Like, you go to Subway, you get a foot long. You don't get the six-foot party sub because you're like, I can't eat this all, you know? So, uh, I mean, it's better to be too big than too small. Uh, just, I mean, you're doing really well if you're staying in this range right here.